So we got us a new printer here. So uh, yeah, <coughs> some basically wedding anniversary gift and Mother's Day gift or something like this. And the story is actually we had an inkjet which kind of broke halfway. So you can get it through on, but only I can, it seems. So my wife has problems there. And uh, we have a laser printer. And, and the idea was to have the inkjet for color prints and laser printer for bike printing black and white. But my wife needs color, of course. Uh, yeah, we probably would have saved a lot of money if we would, would have gone for the ink for the laser color printer right away. Did not bought this one and not bought the inkjet. Yeah, inkjet printers are crap, really. They they, they have no um, no real quality in there, and this is I think there's no brand which does do it better. So yeah, they are lift by they are overpriced cartridges and. The printers are basically throwaway items, um, yeah, which is not very customer friendly. So, but laser printers, I had good experiences in my lifetime, and I usually always had a black and white one because, yeah, who needs color anyway? Yeah, my wife does need. So, um, yeah, so I could have gone that way right away, and yeah, it's it's really a silent thing. So, maybe we should do our own video on this one one day. To print a little bit more to see how it's working, but yeah, it's surprisingly silent. Um, and of course, up here we have a to use a letter, so yeah, getting and, and this the thing is, um, I wanted duplex scanning and printing, which the which our inkjet had. Um, so we had the disk printer, printer scanner combination, copier combination, and the inkjet for scanning and uh, getting to run for. Printing photos on me, and photos doesn't don't run on a on a laser printer very well. So that's something you should be aware of, or somebody should be aware of. So yeah, it's a really really sad story that there are no company who builds really high quality, long life um, inkjets overall because the inkjets have a fantastic picture quality, but it's only yeah like a second to thought because they want to sell their cartridges. So the business model is is not very customer friendly overall. Yeah, enough enough uh, going on on this. Uh, it's another week. Uh, yeah, hopefully the kindergartens will open soon, but there's no information on that. Everything is opening up, but the kindergartens. So. Yeah, I really don't know how long the long time planning is really not there anywhere. So enough about printers. See you, guys. Oh, listen to all those birds around. Yeah. Sunday. <laughs> Bring my life to work and stop the birds. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Mostly cleaning the focus. Stays a lot of rain. Up to thunderstorms. Too late there. Yeah. Wednesday morning. Hmm. Listen to all the birds here. So, isolation is continuing. That's like back here for us. It's all the stores are going to open up, but the uh, kindergartens are not. So, they're still more or less stuck at home. Yeah, it's really those days. It was really cold. It was Monday. It was snowing a little bit. Like like a bit. It was not, not really snow, but there was a little bit of snow in the rain, so, yeah. And I think this night was around zero, below zero degrees Celsius, so, yeah. And him scratch some ice from the car. And now it's another day in the, working in the home office. Let's see. That should be fine. Ikea has opened its doors once again, so... Okay! I don't like my beard with the mask. It looks kinder. 
the reason it. So yeah, that has been uh, IKEA some week once more. So we went to IKEA twice. We got some some new shelves for the kids' room, uh, some stuff from the sale there. So yeah, then I had to build up the stuff, and we are now reorganizing the house. Did the camping in our living room this night, which would be had been would have been quite interesting to film, I guess. Yeah, so that's actually actually already next week from my week schedule, but I want to finish off the video somehow. Yeah, I really like my red beard somehow. But I think it's a bit thin here, so it's like like we we cut this part off a little bit previously, and I think. You can kind of see it a little bit, but I like the color, especially here with the with the morning sun shining into the living room. Then I I fix our Wi-Fi, which I'll be doing a video about on my tech channel, I guess. Um, yeah, got got a Netgear set with uh, satellites, and that works quite fantastic, I would say. But we have to like stress test it a little bit. We streaming on all devices and see if that's working but yeah this is something we I did and yeah, my, my wife was asking for that for quite a while um, so yeah nothing much as happens of work working at home it's not bad overall I think it's just um due to us not being and now we could try maybe to to move the office down there in the store which we have but it should be if this gets to a permanent state then we need a, a desk there and then i could move the office down there mm. maybe we have wi-fi there now with the because we have our satellite up here so that that could be an option to get it a little bit more but that's when, when the kids are going to kindergarten and in case this is going more permanent this is like where our bicycles life live at the moment it's like right below me here yeah, but yeah, we have Wi-Fi now in this section where we had a power LAN adapter and uh, old booter as access point, and this was it was a working but not quite working solution. So it, it did work, but but barely, I would say. So now that's it's working much better overall. Last for the device, which have Wi-Fi, and not all of them have, but the most important ones have, I think. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you. Enjoy the next week with me and we'll see. Next week we have Father's Day. It's like a holiday on on Tuesday. On Tuesday, uh, this Thursday, Thursday. Um, I was having problems with Thursday and Tuesday, so it's Thursday, like the day of thunder, and it's just like we name it in German. So it's like Donnerstag, it's thunders, thunder, thunders day, and but it's from. Like like the southern German version of Thor, which has the red beard, beard um, is called Dona, and like like here in the area, not quite far from here, we have been there in, in the city of Fritzlar, was where um, Saint Bonifatius he cut he cut down the uh, oak of Dona. So I like the the Germans of the region around eight hundred twelve, I think that was. They um, they were. Heatens, of course, um, and living to, and and uh, doing their drum religion stuff, and that like uh, um, they were a bit naturalistic, so what was that uh, like a uh, human sacrifice? Uh, um, yeah, but they had a, a tree, a holy tree, and uh, like it was the tree of Dona, uh, the Dona oak, and yeah, Bonifatius cut down the tree and. Uh, the German, the German heathen said, "Oh, if if you cut down the tree, lightning will strike you down." And he did it, and he wasn't struck down. So he con he convinced them to convert to Christianity. And um, that's like forty kilometers from here, the the city where and we have been there. This was where the where the really cranky, uh, not swayed at all houses. If you remember from my Instagram or something, but it has been, I think, three years or something. Well, we have have been there a couple of times, yeah. So Fritz lies that, and um, yeah, they have a monast had a monastery there. So, yeah, like it's very rare. The, where at this day, the a German army has their has their attack helicopters, the Tigers sta uh, stationed. Where one crashed in Mali recently, 
Also, I'm, I'm making this video much longer now with trivia from the region. So yeah, just like the the um, the attack helicopter squadron. I think it's the only one we have left. I'm not quite sure, but the most most of our tigers are stationed there. And yeah, so they they trained for the Mali flying around our houses here, and everybody was complaining on Facebook uh, that they can't sleep because yeah, we on the on the countryside everybody sleeps with the window open and if a helicopter is circling around your house this was a bit, little, little bit loud for them um yeah and i i i, I remember we when i was in the army i was a little bit uh, more to the west and we had one one captain which we transferred to that station there so i think um but for for the medical facility there i think but so, so he he changed units and we transferred him there so i, I was in the army and the tech helicopters are also in the army scene yeah, but that is more than half a lifetime ago, so, and my army stories are really not interesting and really boring because I didn't do anything overall. Despite me being drafted on the on first uh, of September two thousand one, so, so really strange time back back then. Yeah, kind kind of reminds me. Yeah. It's like like um, yeah, this current crisis, and I think the last one or the the biggest one in my lifetime was certainly the the ongoing war on terror then and then the financial crisis of 2007 which was which hit me a little bit because i was i was i was i was laid off la uh, later on that in 2008 i think uh but more due to i think i think it was i was really uh recent it was relatively new to the company or i had a uh, bad standing with one of the of the senior managers and uh so he didn't like me i didn't like him so it's like like i always end up in companies who have two chefs and one is the good guy <laughs> like like i don't know so it's kind of a germ thing i think it's a good good boss a bad boss thing so i have i've been to so many companies who have this concept like like uh or well not so many I'm, I'm really stagnant in my job so yeah, i'm working eight years i think now no nine nine years already for that same company at the same station so really not not so it's the same I'm, I'm i'm really more for stability in this regard it's like like we haven't changed we haven't we have moved three times in the whole in the whole time so and that was really much for me so it's like like i'm same with the car i'm, I'm not changing my car usually if it's running and it's really cheap overall why should i change so I'm i'm always repairing getting it repaired and it's not not the repair is as expensive as buying a new one in about the same state but the new one you don't know or a new old one you don't know if it has any problems so i am familiar with the car i know what it can do if it can't can't do so i'm rather sticking with that one and my son got a haircut do you want to go on the video yeah 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 uh, so lawnmower accident we call that but it wasn't me, so yeah. See you guys next week. We managed to do this video, make the video longer than ten minutes. So, bye bye.